little jingle that is. Welcome one and all to another math video. Today we're going to talk about percent change, increase and decrease. Um, it's kind of a fun little topic to talk about, kind of fits all aspects of your life. You'll see percent change all over the place, all right? Um, you guys know what the cake said to the knife? You want a piece of me? It's, it's kind of hard to imagine someone not liking a cake joke. What did the cake say to the knife? Do you want a piece of me? Because he's going to cut it up. That's solid. All right, here we go. So what's our goal today? We're going to estimate and solve contextual problems that require using percent increase or percent decrease. Oh, it's a vocabulary word. Let's go. All right, so a vocab uh, percent change as a vocabulary means it's the relative change between an old value and a new value expressed as a percentage. So an example, ticket prices for the Tall Tal concert, you guys know I'm a phenomenal singer, went down by 32%. That's percent change. Meaning I had ticket prices at a certain price and people were trying to buy tickets and then eventually no one was buying the tickets. So the value of the tickets went down and people were buying them for 32% cheaper than what they were when it started. All right, so let's refresh a little bit about percents and percentages, okay? A percent is simply a fraction shown as a number out of 100. So something out of 100. And the reason we say it out of 100, so a fraction shown as a number out of 100, because 100 out of 100 is a whole. That's all. That's one, right? So if I ate 100 M&Ms out of a bowl that had 100 M&Ms, I'm sick. But also, I ate the whole thing. So 100% is 100 out of 100. It's the whole thing, it's all. So percent shows um, a fraction out of 100. So here's a pizza. A whole pizza would be 100%. But somebody ate a portion of it. So they ate a percentage of it. So that's gonna be about 16 and a half percent. Or look at here, so here's a road trip map. And so someone's taken off from Lake Buena Vista and they're heading all the way to Detroit. That's a long way. So they said, I am going to um, drive about 30% of it in one day. So the whole trip would be 100%. 30% would be part of it. Okay, so percent shows a part of a whole and it's always based out of 100. That's what percents are. Okay, so what we can say is that percentages are part of the whole. And that's the whole reason for this slide. We ate part of the whole pizza. We drove part of the whole drive. So let's talk percent change. So we just talked about percent. Let's talk about percent change. Percent change shows us how much a value has either changed, increased, or decreased based on its original value. So we call these changes percent increase or percent decrease. And what do you think that means? Percent increase means it, the value went up. It increased. Or a percent decrease means the value went down. By what percent is what we're asking ourselves. And all kinds of people use this. You'll see this all the time. So organizations use it. Um, they might say we had, in the last year, we've had a reduction of 17% in the volunteers that help out at our organization, meaning they had a certain amount of numbers one year, and then the next year less people volunteered and it was decreased by 17 per 100. Schools will often use this in relation to data of like there's test scores. Our math test scores went up by 6% this year compared to last year. Um, so there's a lot of different ways. The media can use it um, to use this math concept a lot. It's used all the time. All right, so what are some real world examples? Well, one way we could be, here's a Main Street school had 451 students last year. They have 528 students enrolled this year. So they've gotten what? Bigger, they've increased in size. And what we wanna know is by what percentage did they increase? And here's another one, um, gas prices. So in a certain time, anyone could look at a gas price and say, you know what, in 1988, um, when I was in high school, for example, you can say 1988, I could buy gas for around uh, 90 cents a gallon, okay? And right now, depending on where you are, uh, depending on where you are in the country, your gas prices may be a lot more. It could be $3.50 per gallon. Um, and we would try to figure out what, how much did it increase? What's the percent increase? All right. So to understand percent change, here's what we need to think about. Remember, percent tells us the amount per hundred and change, the word change tells us how a value has gone up or down from where it started. So percent's gonna tell us out of a hundred 
And the change is gonna tell us how much our original has went either down to decrease or our original has went up in an increase. So percent change really means it's the change in a value per 100. Okay, so let's say we had 100 pencils in my math class at the start of the week on Monday. And on Friday, we later that week, someone came by and they gave us 16 more. So it increased, we got more pencils. So we increased by 16 per the original 100. So we have a 16% increase, okay? Now again, don't say, well, why are we watching a video on this? That's easy, whatever the number is, it just means that percent. It doesn't mean that, in this case it does because we had 100 pencils. So 16% was an easy solution. Same thing here, I'm gonna give you another easy one just to show you a decrease. Let's say we have 100 apples at the start of the week. Later that week, the class ate 39 of the apples. So we went down by 39, 39 from the original 100. So we have a 39% decrease. And the reason that works is because it was out of 100. But what happens, y'all, if it's not 100? Well, then we have a way to solve it, okay? If the value is not 100 to start with, so let's say I had 75 pencils at the beginning of the week and someone gave me 14, what's the percent change? It's not 14%, it's different. There's a way to solve this. And percent change can be solved by using proportions. It's all proportion. Let's use the thingy thang proportional tool. And if you haven't seen the thingy thang proportional tool, you need to check out that video. Thingy thing reminder, let's talk about what it is. It's, it's a way of looking at proportions and you've probably seen this um, before. Um, thingy thang is our catchy little phrase of uh, how we remind ourselves that this is the tool we use. And all it's saying is we're comparing two ratios that are in proportion. So how does the percent version? Looks the same right now, right? Part over whole and part equals part over whole. Well, in a percent version, the part is the percent. So we, we go ahead and put percent in place of the part. How do we know that's true? Because we talked about earlier, when we have a pizza, that's a whole, the whole pizza is there. If we ate 20% of it, we ate part of the pizza. So that's where percent comes in as a part. And what's the whole? Well, the whole on that side just happens to be 100. Okay, because that's the whole. It's the percent out of 100. 100 would be the whole pizza and we ate a certain percent of it. Okay, so what will each of these sections represent? Well, for us, the percent right here will equal the percent change. It's gonna show us how much a, quant a value changed. And then next will be the 100 that's underneath of it is gonna just show that it's out of a whole. The percent change means the percent out of 100. Next, we go ahead and put our equal sign up. If you see, I'm just setting up two more fractions for you. This part represents how much we changed. Um, the change goes right there. That's not the percent change, that's just the amount we changed. And on the bottom is like, what did we start with? That's always gonna be the original. What did we start with? Let's try, I got paid $350 per month. My boss said he was gonna pay me $100 more per month. So what is the percent change in my monthly pay rounded to the nearest whole number? So remember that at the end, we gotta round our answer to the nearest whole number, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and break this down. What, what does this mean? All right, so here's our thingy thing. Percent over 100 equals part of a whole. So let's go ahead and fill out what we know. We know 350 is what we started with. That was our original value. So that goes on the bottom, that's our whole. The next thing we know is the part, which is the change. This is changing by 100. He's giving me 100 more, so that goes on the top. So we put that right there. Okay, what, what goes next? X, the percent. We don't know the percent. That's our unknown. So that means that's our variable. The percent change is our variable, so we go ahead and change that to an X, and the 100 just stays as it is. It will always be 100, okay? So now, once we have this all set up, X over 100 is equivalent to 100 over 350. We can just do the thingy thing, and the thingy thing tells us to cross multiply and so that we can solve. So we're gonna cross multiply. So we're gonna take our values. We're gonna take X times 350, and that gives us 350x. And then we're gonna take 100 times 100. 100 times 100 equals 10,000. And that gives us our new equation. 350x equals 10,000. So if we had 350x equals 10,000, what's the next thing we would do? Well, we have 350 times x, so we would divide by 350. We would divide both sides by 350. This would cancel out. And so we just have to say, what is 10,000? divided by 350. And guess what, guys? I did that for you. 10,000 divided by 350 gives us this. So X equals that. But what did I say? We're rounding to the nearest whole number. 
So what is this rounded to the nearest hole number? Well, you find your hole. How many holes do we have? We have 28 holes. All right, what is the number next to it? It is a five. So that means it rounds up our 28. So X equals Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so here we are, same situation. Now we have to figure out what our scenario is. My first cell phone bill back in 2001, it's a true story, was about $35 per month. Now, for my cell phone, I pay about $120 per month. What is the percent change in my monthly bill rounded to the nearest hundredth? Just to help us remember, because that big box is going to cover it here in a second, okay? So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see what we have to do here. Well, there's our, our, our thingy thing. So let's go ahead and use it. Let's fill it out. What do we know? Okay. What are we missing right now? Or what, what do we know right now? The first thing we know is that our original value, right? The bottom is the original value was 35. That's how much I paid for my cell phone service to start with. Okay. And then what is our part? 85, and you may be saying to yourself, Where, where's the 85? I don't see an 85 anywhere in the problem. Remember the top is how much did it change? And so as to figure out how much it changed, we have to take our two values that we have and subtract them away from each other. So we would take 120 minus 35, and that equals 85, right here, it equals 85, okay? So the 85 is our how much it changed, all right? And then finally, what is the next thing we're gonna do? The X, that's our unknown. We are still trying to find the percent change, okay? So now that we have that, what happens, okay? What happens after that? Well, we do the thingy thing. We cross multiply and we solve, okay? So let's do that. First thing first is we cross multiply. We take the top of one fraction and multiply it by the top, bottom of the other, 35X, okay? We take the other ones and multiply the bottom of one and the top of the other one. We say, what's 100 times 85? And that's 8,500. And you set them equal to each other. You get yourself an equation. We have 35X equals 8,500. Well, that's 35 times X. So to get rid of the coefficient, we have to divide by 35 on the both sides, okay? And once we do that, guess what? I did it for you. If we do that, we get 8,500 divided by 35, and it gives us this number. And we said we were rounding to the nearest 100th. Do you guys remember that? Okay, so we have to look and say, where is the nearest? We have to know place value wise, like where is the 100th? Well, these are our holes, okay? And the next one over here is tenths, okay? And the next one after that is hundredths. So the five is in our hundredths, okay? So the five's in our hundredths, whoops. We have to look next door and we see that seven. That seven is larger than five. So it's gonna tell us to do what to the five? Round up, okay? So what is our percent change? It is 242.86% because we rounded that five up. That's a big change. That is a big change. So the cost of my cell phone bill since I've owned a cell phone has gone up by 242%. It's insanity. Okay, so let's fill in some blanks here. First one, percent change shows us what? It shows us the change in the value per, ding, ding, 100. The next one, to solve percent change, we use a, a cool tool called the, what's it called? It's called the thingy thing, okay? Next, to find the change value. So remember on the top of the thingy thing, we have, X over 100, and then over here on the top is the part. That's the change. How much did it change? So us to figure that out, sometimes it'll just tell us what the change is, and sometimes we have to solve it. So what do we do? We take the two values that we have, and we subtract them, okay? That gives us a change. What was the original value and the other value? How much did they change? And then the hole in the thingy thing that is opposite the 100 displays the what? The whole represents the original value. So on the bottom of that is 100, okay? The, or I'm sorry, the bottom of that represents the original value, okay? Whatever that original value might be. Now, the one thing we sort of talked about but haven't really addressed is the percent if it's going up or down. And the way you say if it's a percent increase or decrease is you just look at your original value, okay? So think about your original value and you say, for my cell phone, it was 85 and it went to 120. 
So what did that do? Did that go up and increase in size? So that's a percent increase. If I used to have 77 volunteers work at my school, and then the next year I had 40, what did my values do? They went down. So the percent change is going to go down. You got it, guys. Ready to rock and roll. So let's say, what is the, would you guys know what the fastest peanut butter in the world is? They've tested this. It's Jiffy. <laughs> Be there to Jiffy.